No, not really. Um, uh, we're in this position again because we took care of business, and uh, you know, just take take advantage of it. We get our work in, and uh, be ready for the next round. You guys touched on it last week, but some, is it kind of like disrespect when people are dealt and D-Wade a little bit and, and what's he meant to this franchise and this organization? I, mean, I don't, I don't really, uh, really get too much into it. I mean. Um, I know what he's meant for this franchise and what he means to our team. And in order for us um, to continue to be successful, he's going to be him. And uh, you know, I'm not worried about uh, you know his statistics. You know, just having him on the floor is all. He's an automatic threat. And like I said, he doesn't have to prove himself to anyone. Do you think that fuels his fire like anybody else? Yeah, it does. It does Le for sure. LeBron, even though you guys are eight and one in the playoffs, some of the players and Coach Bo said there's still some consistency issues, and you guys need. To play better. How much, as the opposition gets tougher, how much better do you think you guys need to play as these playoff teams? Well, we'll continue to rise to the occasion. Um, you know, no matter who we're playing, you know, uh, the stakes are higher now. Us uh, being in the in Eastern Conference Finals, um, so we will continue to rise to the occasion. Our game will continue to rise, and uh, we have a lot of room for improvement. Um, we had a lot of mental breakdowns in our last round. We had some mental breakdowns in the first round um, that we can improve on, and, and that's the best thing about our team. We don't. Uh, we don't really dwell on the on the things that we did well. We kind of we hate the things that we did bad, and we try to get better with them. What are you doing to improve on the mental breakdowns? Uh, film. Uh, we watch film, and we come out on the floor, and we do it, and we get into our minds, and then uh, we execute it once again. Here. Someone has always talked about Birdman's energy and intensity. Can you just talk about his overall swag? Um, well, I think he's a I mean, he's a character of his own. Uh, Anytime you can have people off the floor want to look like you, want to dress like you, want to dress or, or do the things or get their haircut like you, or that means you have a great personality and you have your own your own swag about you. So um, I think it's pretty cool. LeBron, with the time off, the layoff, how does that affect the rhythm shooter? For who? For anybody. Oh, I don't know. That's not a question for me. I'm not much of a rhythm shooter. <laughs> I just, I, that's for Ray Allen and Mike and JJ and. Rio, those guys. Uh, I can get some buckets around the paint, so I'll be all right. LeBron, you uh, to your fifth Eastern Conference Finals, and you put up pretty good numbers in each of the yeah. previous. Yeah, four. yeah. Is there? They were all different. They were against four different teams, and you get a fifth different team this time. Right. Are there any that that stand out to you more? Than, uh, what was your best in your view? I, I don't know. Um, I, I think probably the one against Detroit. Um, and, and Cleveland that, that took us to the finals to play San Antonio. I mean, we were a young team. I was very young, and uh, you know, going against a team like that who had kind of dominated us a couple of years before, um, uh, to be able to come through in that series for my teammates uh, meant a lot. So, um, I've been pretty successful uh, in Eastern Conference Finals. This is, you said, this is my fifth by the beast. So I think I'm three and one. I lost to Orlando once, um, so, so I'm looking forward to this opportunity. It's going to be fun. Statistically. Even though the one you lost, the numbers jump off the page in that one. Are there any positive memories? From no, the way it no, out? no. Because we lost, we lost. So I, I know I think my stats were screwed. I think I averaged like 38, eight and eight or some 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 absurd. And I still didn't do enough according to critics. But it was okay. Uh, I should average 40, 10, and 10, and we would have won. So uh, I'll be all right. LeBron, LeBron how was play? You can have had a losing record. Season. And we've seen this that has not mattered right. throughout the right. what is it? Why is it? I, I, I don't know. Regular season games well, I mean, obviously, out. playoff games and regular season games are different. Um, you have that same style. Yeah, but you know? have more time to prepare for guys' pros and cons and of that nature. And I, me personally, I have a lot more time to kind of key in on the guys that I'm going to be guarding. Exactly. The sets they like to run. The sets they like to run more in the fourth quarter than they do in the first quarter. So, me personally, uh, when you're playing a back-to-back, -back, say you're playing, you know, Milwaukee Tuesday, and then you got to play a back-to-back -back with Chicago the next night, you don't really have that much time to prepare. Or you're playing New York and you're playing Brooklyn on the back-to-back, -back, you don't have that much time to prepare in 24 hours. So, you know, in the playoffs, you have so much more time to prepare on personnel, on their sets, their likes, their dislikes. So, you know, for our team, we kind of like that advantage. On a rest break. You know, when you think of the rest aspect, you quietly root for New York to make it go. Nah, I mean, it is what it is now. I mean, uh, no matter what happened last night, we was either going to play Monday or Wednesday. So um, we was actually hoping we'd play Monday just so we can get back moving. But we'll take the extra two days. we got some guys just banged up from uh, the semis. And um, 
you know, got to take advantage of it. Is there an advantage to them going seven, just to them beating each other up? No, because Chicago went seven. They came in and beat us game one, so we just got to be ready. LeBron, you said after the game the other night you needed kind of maybe 24 hours to exhale after the tough series against the Bulls. Mm -hmm. How refreshed are you after the 24 oh, I'm hours? I'm good. I'm good, but I'm not where I need to be as far as getting ready because I don't know who we play. But as far as physically, um, I could play a game tonight if we had one. Um, I'm ready to go, but mentally I'm not there yet because I don't, I can't hone in on who we're playing just yet. LeBron, the other day you talked about how free throw shooting is now a major priority for you. Tell me why that is and how Ray Allen has contributed to you getting better. Um, why it is, I think it's um, I'm a very aggressive player. I get to the free throw line. Those are easy points for um, our team. You know, and um, you know, I got to be able to go up there and at least hit 80, 85 percent of them. That's that's my goal. That's the pressure I'm putting on myself. It makes our team even more dynamic. So, um, you know, I've been doing a, a pretty good job as of late. Um, shooting with Ray every day. It's a competition thing. You don't want to look crazy making six out of ten. He's making ten out of ten every time. So. Um, you know, he puts pressure on me to make free throws, and I just try to translate, you know, what we do at practice into the games. He's even put pressure on you to think about one of the greatest holy grails in shooting, 50, right, 40, 90. The, right, the 90, 50, 40 thing. So that's tough, though. We'll see. Do you think you could ever achieve something like that? Yeah, I can achieve anything if I just make it a goal of mine. I never made it a goal of mine. If I decided to do it, I, yeah, I can make it happen. How has he helped you in terms of technique and balance? Um, I think more is, is just mental. I think, um, you know, he's not coming here and changing my shot. I mean, I've been shooting the same way for years. And, uh, you know, it's just about repetition. It's about concentration and mentally just going up there shooting the same shot every time. No matter if you miss, you're going to miss some. You know, and Ray misses some, even though he shoots 99.9% .9 every night. But uh, he still misses the free throw. So, you know, but he never changes his routine. So, you know, that's the mental side of it.